Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll discuss about Gauss Divergence Theorem. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I'll explain basics, statement, proof, physical significance and applications of Gauss Divergence Theorem. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of Gauss Divergence Theorem. First of all, one should know Gauss Divergence Theorem is based on divergence of function. If you want to calculate divergence of function f, then that is del dot f. So based on divergence of function, Gauss Divergence Theorem is there. If you observe the statement of Gauss Divergence Theorem, then that explains relationship in between volume integration and surface integration. Gauss Divergence Theorem is divergence of function f with volume integration is equals to function surface integration. So Gauss Divergence Theorem explains relationship in between volume integration and surface integration. Right. See, divergence of function explains what? It explains rate of change of function with respect to coordinate. So if you want to calculate del dot f, then that explains rate of change of function with respect to coordinate x, y and z. So if you have function f which is having x coordinate fx, y coordinate fy and z coordinate fz, then del dot f that is partial differentiation of x coordinate of function with respect to x plus partial differentiation of y coordinate of function with respect to y plus partial differentiation of z coordinate of function with respect to z. That is how divergence of function is there. It explains rate of change of function with respect to coordinate x, y and z. Right. See, this divergence that explains location of source and sink. So based on entering flux and leaving flux, one can identify the location of source and sink using divergence of function. See, divergence is flux density. So based on direction of flux, one can identify whether given location is source or sink. Like you can observe here we have positive charge. So from positive charge, electric field that will be leaving, right? Means this point that is acting like a source. You can observe here field lines are shown. So if field lines that is leaving to the point, then that point is source. If you observe here we have negative charge. So electric field lines that will be entering to the point. So based on flux density, we can identify this point as a sink. If you observe neutral point, then in neutral point, we don't have any field lines. Means there is no change of function with respect to coordinate. So based on rate of change of function with respect to coordinate, we can identify flux density, whether that flux density is entering or leaving. Based on that, one can identify whether given point is source or sink. So Gauss Divergence Theorem that we used to identify whether given location is acting like a source or sink. Right. Now I'll explain you proof of Gauss Divergence Theorem. If you have function f that is having x coordinate fx, y coordinate fy and z coordinate fz, then divergence of function f that is del dot f that will be partial differentiation of x coordinate of function with respect to x plus partial differentiation of y coordinate of function with respect to y plus partial differentiation of z coordinate of function with respect to z. That is how one can identify divergence of function f. One can also calculate divergence of function based on limit where limit delta v tends to zero means volume is going towards zero. Surface integration of function divided by delta v. Now if you further simplify this by taking this delta v on other side, we need to have limit on other side as well. So here also if you multiply this delta v over this side, then here we will be having delta v, delta v tends to 0, divergence of function that is equals to limit delta v tends to 0, surface integration of function. 
here see with the surface integration we don't have anything to do with this volume tends to zero means this much portion that is surface integration of function only but if you observe this side then over this side we have divergence of function into delta v where delta v is going towards zero so that is a definition of integration so here one can say for total volume this portion that is integration of divergence of function with respect to volume and that is equals to surface integration of function so that is how one can derive relationship of volume integration with surface integration using divergence theorem so this statement that explains gauss divergence theorem right now i'll discuss about physical significance of gauss divergence theorem see gauss divergence theorem that we use it to identify location of source and sink and one should know divergence is flux density so based on flow of flux one can identify whether given point is source or sink let me take some examples here we have a tank and with this tank see from here water is entering so if you identify flux in this region then in this region what will happen flux line that will be leaving from this point means this region will be having positive divergence or one can say in this region we have a source right why the reason is because of this connection of this wall we are entering water over here means this location is acting like a source if you observe here we have few walls those are connected at this location so at this location if you identify divergence then that divergence will be negative why the reason is here lines are entering inside means water is taken out from this location so divergence over here that will be negative what it indicates it indicates given location is sink if you identify divergence in this region then here there is no change in water means here we have zero divergence means that location is not source as well as that location is not a sink so based on calculation of divergence based on whether given divergence is positive or negative one can identify whether given location is acting like a source or sink let me take one more example here we have positive charge so from positive charge electric field that will be going outward from the point right so as a electric field that is going outward from the point then this point is a source and that is source because of positive charge if you have negative charge then with negative charge electric field lines that will be entering to the point as if it is entering to the point based on entering flux over here one can say this point is sink for source if you identify divergence that will be positive divergence for sink if you identify the divergence it will be negative divergence and for neutral point we don't have entering and leaving flux based on that one can say divergence is zero so at neutral point we don't have any divergence right now i'll discuss about applications of gauss divergence theorem see gauss divergence theorem that we use it to identify locations of source and sink and that we identify based on flux density the reason is divergence is flux density right it explains rate of change of function with respect to coordinate x y and z right so this gauss divergence theorem that we use it in fluid mechanics in fluid mechanics we can use this to identify locations of source and sink we also use it in flow of fields those fields could be gravitational fields electric fields or magnetic fields it is also used in aerodynamics 
in aerodynamics we use it to identify how lines are there how flux lines are there with aerodynamics it is also used in electromagnetics so this video lecture series that is based on electromagnetics lecture series in which we will be using gauss divergence theorem many times with different problems in future coming videos i'll explain how to solve problems based on gauss divergence theorem as well i hope you have enjoyed this session till if anything that you like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video